Well, the only way is forward. So let's go forward. To Sindarut. A hushed clearing south of the Glade of Lu. You have no reason to suspect the informant Sandalwood may come through here. May have come through here. Sorry, you do have reason. Wow. Nailing it today. Just generally nailing it. I always wonder why some specific games, like I have no trouble ever with the dialogue style, and the other ones, I like, will just flub constantly and like not even register at, at first that I've flubbed, and I'm like, what's different though? Like they're just reading text. It's not even like in like, it's not even in like old timey micro megas uh, writing. You arrive on the outskirts of Cinder Root, but once again, the informant Sandalwood is nowhere to be found. I think the uh, higher frequency of made-up words usually trips me up, if I were to guess. You sense the hopes of your companions waning as you search through the area. As your search through the area yields nothing. <laughs> then something startles the little imp Tizo. Tizo seems to be crying out in surprise. He has spotted something, or someone. <laughs> A tall figure strides forward from the trees, making a, a sound like laughter. Is that tree man? Is this going to be the client? Is he a tree person? Because they fit another, fit another mask, right? The imp charges toward him and leaps right into the figure's arms. They embrace. Hail, Dizo. But you look famished here. The tall sap produces something that the imp swallows immediately, and with great pleasure. Saps are tree-like creatures, apparently, known for their ingenuity, cleverness, and ambition. Having allied with them, the commonwealth achieved in decades what it could not achieve in centuries. <laughs> the lone minstrel nods his head in affirmation. Everyone, I wish to introduce you to my client. Volfred Sandalwood. He's actually made of wood. Go figure. He's the client, Hedwin's informant, and leader of the Nightwings. Volfred Sandalwood. Okay. Well, we found him. Does he have a star carved into his head? It has been too long, Volfred, sir. There are many temples. Too long indeed, Tariq. I trust your new companions bring some color to your days. They do, sir. I think you shall find them worthy of the Nightwings. The sap looks upon the lot of you. You cannot sense his thoughts. You did it. We shall see. Then he turns to you. You must be the reader. I'm certain that we all appreciate your efforts here, my boy. Though we shall manage on our own from here on out. You're welcome to continue with us, of course. Though you are free to go. I trust you have been adequately compensated for your time. Thanks as well for looking after all my books. You consider what to say to all this. So is he a reader then? What's going on here? Wolfred intends to relieve you from of your duties from the group. That's unexpected. To just have a, a fork in the story where they're like, Hey, yeah, go away. Bye. She's like, what? I was committed to this. You insist on staying, bid everyone farewell, remain silent. Remain s I'm gonna be dumbfounded by this one, I think. This cannot be happening. You have come this far, only to be brushed aside by some strange sap? You stare back at Wolfred, attempting to glean a deeper insight into what drives him, though remain unable to sense anything further. Still, you refuse to budge at, this, at, at his behest. Hold on. Wolfred, sir. I'm Hedwin. My companions and I are the ones who answered your call. We followed the signs you left for us. Now we're here, thanks to you, and also to this reader. Not just a reader, he... He is our friend. My friend. He's not disposable. We made him a promise, and our freedoms are now intertwined. <laughs> Wolfert smirks at this. Freedom's not something to be traded and exchanged, my boy. I'd hoped you'd have come to that grasp this much by now. <sighs> he breathes a sigh. <laughs> it seems we've started off on the wrong foot. It's not my wish to sour the occasion, for there's much to do. You have a right you need to get to, do you not? I'll come along. 
though shall not interfere. For it seems you have a kinship with this reader of yours. Now then, Tariq? Aye, full fret, sir. Come, let's have a chat. Of course, sir. Wolfred strides toward the black wagon, which must have belonged to him. You sense many conflicting emotions among your companions. Wolfred Sandow joined you. He knows much about the rights. Welcome him aboard. Is welcoming him the right approach? Oh well. That's the only one we can have. So he backed off on the idea of replacing me. Realizing he stepped a little too far. Whoopsie. Your wagon cuts through a clearing to arrive at the Glade of Lou, where the stars directed you. Wolfred nods his approval, but leaves everyone to their devices. Commence the right. And we have a revelation. Okay. So I think I'm coming to a conclusion about how I want to run this campaign, by the way. Uh, so at first I was like, maybe I'll do it all on easy mode, not e easy mode, uh, normal mode. Uh, and probably win every single round through the entire game. And see how that turns out. But I, that was on the assumption that uh, I thought it was going to be a short game. Like Bastion and Transistor and stuff. So I figured, oh, then I'll just play it again. And I'd, then, then I'll play it on a harder difficulty, or, or see what happens when you lose constantly and stuff like that. Uh, that's getting less likely because the game is so the game is significantly longer than I initially guessed it would be based on their previous games. Uh, so it, we're probably only getting one playthrough of this realistically on the channel, just because the cost benefit, like there's a opportunity cost of sticking with one game for too long. What I think I'm going to do instead is. I'm not 100% sure, but I think in this game, when you do, I think you fight every team once, and then I think you go back and fight them again, maybe even multiple times or something. I think the game establishes the teams so you can see what they what they move like, because each team is like different races and stuff like that. I think once you've once you've met all the teams, I think you end up going against them again. If that is the case, I think that once I start encountering teams again, if that is the case. I'll, I'll bump it to a harder difficulty because I also want to see what happens when you lose because when you lose in this game The game doesn't do a game over instead the story adapts to, to, to how you lost, but I also don't necessarily want to just Throw the matches and just give up and lose on purpose because that's the only gameplay in the game besides reading dialogue and picking what what uh, skills people get So I don't want to just sit out the matches just to see what happens when you lose sometimes so I think that's the compromise is like as the story progresses in order to Reinforce the idea of the escalating challenge and stakes. I think I might slowly bump up the difficulty once or twice as, as the story goes on when I think key Moments have happened that signify that kind of change. We'll see how it goes, but that's my that's the thought I'm throwing out now The demon Emperor Murr scarcely could I recognize him when I last found him a half-starved animal, horns sprouted from his head, a bestial mirror of his blackened reputation. And I, a man who conquered countries, feared my emperor then, in such a way that I had never known. My charge had been to slay this man, but when I discovered him, he was already fighting for his life. The little imp, Haub, proved of little help against the Sisters of the Arch, whose entire lives were culminating in this instant. I was unable to watch. My heart ached with such pity for the man, and for the love I felt for him when I had served him, that I sprang to his defense. As you approach Volfred Sandal, would you feel very much aware that you reside within his black wagon, rather than he and yours? He studies you in silence for a time, then... Tariq. If you have a moment. I, Wolfred, sir. What is it? This reader. You deem him worthy, by your estimation. The lone minstrel tilts his hat in your direction. If you wish for my own estimation, Wolfred, sir, then yes, I do. Of course, it is not entirely for me to say, but I have seen this reader integrating with the others well. I believe that his achievements are self-evident in having reached Black Basin. 
Your instructions were deliberately difficult to follow, yet he and the others followed him. Followed them. Indeed. Your words may s uh, make sense as ever, Tariq. And what does little Tizo think of him, I wonder? Tizo indicates that, as a matter of fact, he is happy to have you around. There you have it, sir. I see. He continues to examine you. High praise isn't oft spoken by those two, my boy. Nonetheless, I shall be watching you. Now, pardon us. Tariq and I have matters to discuss. They leave without another word, although you think you notice the lone minstrel look your way over his shoulder. They're judging me. I'm feeling judged right now. Is he in here? Nope. Nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing this game's gonna end like, uh, is gonna enter like another arc at some point, and during that additional arc, I'm gonna suddenly have the ability to like start unveiling these secret details of some of these characters I can't find out otherwise. Also, you cannot see like you. <laughs> this character straight up obscures the enlightenment meter. Like <laughs> for the whole middle part, it'll be hard to read where it, where it's at, which is funny. Yeah, I might do the training options more often just to get some of these characters into higher levels because we're getting a lot of them and these newer characters are not as high level as you would think they'd be. Some some RPGs have characters join up in the same level-ish as the game expects you to be when you get to that part of the story, but that's not happening here, which makes sense because this isn't really an RPG. Uh, it doesn't follow the traditional combat system and progression system. Instead, you're just getting perks that help you during combat. So it actually makes sense to make go in a more XCOM territory of like picking up perks as you go, regardless of when you get the character. Kerr is glowing here. Swift, dog-like creatures known for their loyalty, optimism, and appreciation for the simple things. Alpha, pre Alpha chiefs would rather would later say their kind went soft no sooner than they joined the Commonwealth. Now that's all new. That's all old. I don't know why it was glowing like it was new. Why are these all glowing? Stop it. <laughs> if I, maybe I just haven't highlighted any of those. Weird, that's distracting, so I'm gonna just highlight them real quick. So it stops sh shining things at me like they're new when they're not. Because that's distracting. Because I, I want to be able to notice the moment anything changes on these screens. Okay, here we go. I've already checked the orb in this area, so she won't have anything new to say. And while this place is dense with stuff now, nothing looks new. Hello, snail shop. Oh, hey, you guys. You know, I didn't get that the word out about this new franchise which you opened here just now, so... Give you a great deal. Just tell your friends, okay? Oh, hey there, Mr. Sandalwood. Good day to you as well, Ron. Ooh, more stuff. The right light? <laughs> Once per right, if the bearer's pyre is extinguished, it is instead restored by five. Oh, wow. It's a resurrection, basically. It's a tiny amount intentionally. Plus five is so small that you will immediately lose the moment that it goes back. That the moment that uh, you get scored against again. But uh, it does mean that once per right, you get one more chance if you're about to lose. Which is not a bad idea. Fifteen for only a plus two. This thing sells for 10, bark strip. Yeah, come to Cinderu. We've already come to Cinderu, so that doesn't matter. Instantly recover all stamina. Chance to return immediately. I don't want to lose any of these things, really, which means we don't really have money right now. And everything's expensive. Yeah, nothing. nothing's outstandingly cheap. And I can't even afford the Stardust, but maybe I'll get another Stardust event where I can pick up a plus six, because that was really cool. But for the moment, we don't have much money. I need to get more money out of this contract, hopefully. If I'm lucky. Tell all your friends about us, because I already told mine. Well, time to commence the raid. You and your fellow exiles arrived at the sacred site called Glade of Lu, and now look to the stars in the sky to signal the beginning of the next rite. The woods about you bring a sense of tranquility you have not felt in some time, but then you notice one of the trees move, it shuffles toward you, 
and regards you with an exaggerated bow. 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 Crap. Well, goodness, by the root, by the roots of Lu Shloran, it would appear the rumors are correct. The Nightwings have returned. Lu Shlorian. Hundred Minds. Third of the eight scribes of the Book of Rites, known as the Wise or the Philosopher. He is said to have fathomed every thought, and his wisdom flows through the river of his name. So we have, what, eight scribes? The star thing has, what, like seven points on it? I imagine one of the scribes is us, or me, or something. So we must have, I think we have seven opponents to fight, which would match the eight scribes thing if, if our team represents one of the scribes. So we're probably getting close to that soon. The game doesn't feel anywhere near ending. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to repeat at some point. We probably re we probably revisit the shrine, the uh, the same locations even as the story develops. And as you'd expect, a new race appears to match the new location. Also, this magic, this music is like a mid. It almost feels like a midpoint between Portal music and Castlevania or something. What's going on? The soundtrack side of control. Oh, but where are my manners, hmm? One moment. The sap claws at his mask with his wispy fingers. Much better. H. Manly Tinderstaff, at your service. Perhaps you've heard of me. He's a sycophant who <laughs> seems certain he will land a position of high standing once he is free. My fellows and myself, or you perhaps know us as the Chastity. We shall soon stand against you in the rites. For now, I am just whiling away the time making small talk. The Chastity is a triumvirate bent on exploiting the rites to gain status in the Commonwealth, led by the sap H. Manly Tinderstoff. Okay, that's different. Now then, as I have introduced myself, your turns. To whom am I speaking? Then in your mind's eye, you see Wolfred and hear his voice. Manly Tinderstaff is not to be trusted. Remember ni neither yourself. Uh, reveal neither yourself to him nor me. Well, beneath her mask, Jariel stares back at him in silence. You suspect Wolfred's message may have reached every member of the group. Why now? How very rude indeed. Well, fine, ignore me, but you do so at your own peril. Anyhow, once this evening's rite commences, at any moment now, then I'm afraid ignoring me won't be an option any longer. Oh, and now I do believe the sky is beginning to show. We'll have to chat again some, time, some other time. Now come along, come along. Manly... Manly or Manly? I don't know. Manly bow bows again and wanders off into the clearing and the stars begin to burn. Yeah, there's eight stars for the eight scribes and I think we, ca I think we count as one of the teams. Once again, the stars align themselves before you, reader. And here now, at the Glade of Liu, I have to say, you've come so very far. But there are those, such as your adversaries called the Chastity, who have toiled for this tomb. They know that with their freedom comes great opportunity. It could be yours instead. Please show the Chastity that the Nightwings are superior. I wonder, oh honored Nightwings, how well do you know these woods? Why, these woods would strangle you, and I'm afraid I could do little to stop them, even if I tried. You might do better to beware of them. When Jodariel continues to ignore him, he grows upset. Why, you insolent? Then fine, let us begin the dance indeed. He shoves his mask back on in a huff. And allow me to thank you in advance for helping me return unto my proper station in the Commonwealth. Oh, mixed group. Who shall conduct that looked like a human, a tree person, a sap, I guess. And what are you guys called again? Harp. 
All right, who are the greens? Got a demon in there. Got you. Got a lot of greens now. I might just go with the green group and try it out. It's scary, but I would get... Uh, oh, yeah, I, only, I, only, I, only get, I can only use three. Careful with that. Let's remove, remove everyone's items that aren't uh, character-specific, which is those two and no one else. Confusing that the Kerr Fang is not character specific because, of course, we have Jomar's, Jomar's Fang, which is almost like a variation, but a very different item. Okay. So, first off, haven't used Fey for a while, and I like using Fey. But Fey doesn't do enough damage when she scores points, so I probably want to go with the plunging into the adversary's pyre thing, is probably the way to go. Because that gives you bonus damage. Which helps with the fact that she's not a very high damage character, because she has a glory of 20. So she can take some chunks out with that. Jodariel's an interesting counter, being a significantly larger character. Between these two, I think I'm most interested in bringing in Sir Gilman. So you're interesting because you leave a weird, like, defensive wall lying around. And you're also- oh, you're actually pretty- I had a lot of fun killing things with this character because he- he has that- that thing where he attacks behind him, so let's- let's actually give you the contract. Sir Gilman. Show me. Very well. Glory is within our grasp! What would- uh, would that this knight had hands with which to grasp it? Are you quite ready, finally, O oh Nightwings? May all those masks of yours ensure no harm should come to any of your lovely countenances. countenances. Now come along, come along. Let's see, the, let's give the, shar the stars a show. How do tree people work exactly? Could be a surprise. Oh. May I present to you, Humboldt Manley Jr. Why, he is every bit my equal and is poised to guarantee that the Tinderstaff line shall have a bright, bright future. It's Manley's sapling, which uh, not only has a name, but bears a similar posture and likeness to him. So he can spit out a little mini version of himself, apparently, which is probably like a... It looks like it's rooted to place. Heh. <laughs> get it, because it's, it's a plant. Uh, it looks like it's like a, a, a remote defensive location. Like, he can essentially expand his aura by making a copy of himself over there. He goes on and on about a sapling for a while. Um, can he be quiet now? So we can do this right, maybe? I could not agree more. Now, isn't he just the most precious little thing you've ever seen, hmm? Sapling is nothing but an extension of Manly. If but if he is banished, the sapling should cease to, to trouble you as well. Manly and his offspring hold no small degree of influence within the Commonwealth, Reader. There are many who would welcome his return, though none so much as he himself. Ah, crap! Well, that's not what I was going for. Double kill. Ferocity unbridled. Oh, he was juggling with his own character. Oh, I didn't mean to switch characters. Crap. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Come on over. Nope. What? Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Yep. Oh, that was a mistake. No, thank you. Going for them kills. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> you can get a lot done with this character. Oh. Yep. Nope, no, nope. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> rude predicament Money, please. Chastity. Money, please. Uh. 
Oh, that's not what I was going for. That was weird. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, that was a weird little move I did. Oh, I guess I'll just throw it in here real quick. Hello. Ow. Bad idea. Didn't really, didn't really avoid that all, did you? Oh, why did I do that? <laughs> that was a bad idea. That was the wrong direction to go for. Hello. Gotcha. Gotcha. Haha. <laughs> I love this little worm trail. It's great. Are you gonna approach it? Nope. Where are you going? Where are you going with that attack you're doing? <laughs> You'll never catch it. Nope. That didn't reach it. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. The night wings are the first to strike. Oh ho, what's this? It seems the woods themselves are closing in upon our little soiree. Oh, do be careful now. These grasping roots and vines, they may not hold you in such high esteem as I. That little, that synth part of the audio, I can't help but think past, uh, I can't, I can't think past, uh, Portal when I hear it. Ow. That was, I mis-aimed that one. Perhaps such wealth ought to be reserved instead for you. Uh, yes, it did. Don't remind me. Boop. Oh dear, the woods are closing in. Uncomfortably close to that. Whatever shall we do? Perhaps if you just stand aside a while, we could put an end to that to this that much sooner. Uh, you're losing, dude. So far. I don't know if that wasn't clear. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Whee! Spectacularly Say, have any of you noticed how it's feeling rather crowded out here, hmm? Almost as if the Hundred Minds himself resents you being here. Yes, I rather think that's it. I like how we were specifically warned not to talk to this guy, and he will not stop talking. <laughs> So Cecil, with you're scurrying about with the damned orb, and let me handle this. Did I get all the kills I needed yet? I don't think, there's no counter for the bounty, is there? It just you have to like pay attention to whether or not the last one said you were done yet. Oh, that's not good. That's not great for the whole like I want to get kills thing. Ow! Away with them! Ah, crap! Thrust straight into your flames. I got caught off guard by how Sir Gilman's throw works. It's confusing. Deuces. Oh, I did not thread the needle there as the, the way I thought I would. Nope. Ah, Jesus. What? No, ah. Damn it, I was trying to hit him. I screwed up bad there. All right, well, let's not screw up and lose. Bye bye. Plunged into the pyre. All right, you night wings. I've had it up to here with you, or perhaps I've simply had it up to here with all of these encroaching plants, these miserable things. Either way, I don't appreciate how you're ignoring me. Oh, that's a lot more grown in. You've had it up to here with the plants, but you're doing the gesture that seems to suggest that you're causing them to, to come in. So fling threw me off really bad earlier because apparently fling, yeah, he like barely moves and like gets stuck in the. Air. That's weird. It's a strange animation. Okay. What you guys up to? You guys got a plan or something? Yep. Yep. Oh nope. 
Spark. Got to play defense for a little bit to get my character back. There we go. Ah, it's a lingering attack, so you can't throw it. You can't jump over it. There we go. You can't jump over my uh, my long range attack in the, unless you leave the zone completely. Because in the process of jumping over it, you get in trouble. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that worked out great. Oh my god, I just need to lure everyone down. Their adversaries confidently thwarted. Got it. Thus end this night's proceedings. I knew he could prevail. Though, Master Tinderstaff there, I think he's really upset now. Good. That imbecile's a, that imbecile of a sap. So much talk and hot air. Ooh. Well, my, my, my. Oh, worry not, oh, Nightwings. I'm not angry with you, honestly. But I am very, very, very disappointed. I thought perhaps that we had something going here between us. You scratch my back and I scratch yours and all. We have never spoken to each other. Instead, however, you decide to spit in my face. Fine. We'll have to see where all your rudeness gets you. Now, ta-ta. Always is there greater knowledge to be gained. Look at all them points. Got a thousand points. Girl Leveled up Faye. The eight scribes. Seems. They so inspire me, and now I feel that I have grown somehow closer to them. Maybe? All of her statements are questions, even if they don't need to be. So, far of throwing salute to auto leap towards the orb. Or when grasping the orb, uh, sprints and jumps without stamina. Oh, infinite jump, infinite sprinting is great. Uh, I actually don't know if I'm in, if I'm super into her skills. Huh. The infinite sprint is good, and then I got this one before. Yeah, it lets her cast instantly. I probably find her skills least interesting for some reason. I think just there's a there's a larger number of them that I'm not super into. Being able to fl throw it farther would, could be good. Let's do that. Mainly because I have a really bad tendency to forget that the uh, s that saluting even is a mechanic in this game. Until the next right. That was well done, my boy. I am beginning to see why your companions vouched for you. Don't let it go to your head, of course. 